Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Paitska International Nail Artist and Nail Educator here and today we are going to do my nails again, you can have a wee preview of it in here. Yes, I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial and if you recreate this look, hashtag Dorota Paitska, so I would love to see your work as well. Let's start! <laughs> We are going to do the summer nails and I have done one part of it so just so you know what to expect as well. Also there is tutorial on those nails, I quite like them as well. And uh, there is tutorial how to do the rebalance if you know in here and there are tutorials how to sculpt a fresh set of the nails as well. So you need to go and check them out and today we are going to do uh, those beautiful design. So I'm going to pick up the product we needed for uh, for it and that's a color number 217 flower garden that's the color plus red paint on french gel foil design gel um, chrome pigments and they are from the model ones i will give you the links in the descriptions of the video then it's easier for you guys to find the products and uh, some white as well so i'm just going to mix the colors i needed and we're going to start picking up the red. So just a small drop of the red. We don't need a lot of it. And then the paint on French gel for a white. And I'm going to mix those two colors to achieve a really nice pink color. Okay, so we've got some pink and then I'm going to put a drop of the flower garden. This is so we can create a nice marble, some white. And again, the flower garden. Then dotting tool or an old brush, whichever is easier for you, and just kind of mix it a little bit. And now we can start applying the marble design. So I'm going to use some old uh, gel brush for it. And maybe quickly just scratch my nails. I was doing some dishes, so I'm just going to scratch the nails. Otherwise, they might be oily. And dehydrate with the blue scrub. And now they're ready for the application of the design. So I'm just picking up and we are going to do slightly different ones. So here I will go like a kind of French. Yeah, why not? Kind of French. So I have just picked up the small amount of the product and we are going to go for a wavy marble. Then on this one, just the same. I'm going pretty high with it, like, and I 
And on this one, we're going to go more for a side design. And same on the pinky. It was kind of wavy just because the waves are really unfashioned now. Using the D-liner brush, we are just going to perfect it. because you don't want to do it with the large brush. If you do it with the large brush, the product might run. And then once I'm happy with it, I can give it a cure and we can move on into the next part of the design. So we'll give it a cure. So when the hands is curing, I'm just going to pick up the paints and that's a number 14, which is pink. So I'm just squeezing out a little bit of it. And I'm also needing some white. My white is at the end. <laughs> so I just need to open the top and squeeze it out. It's really at the end. And what you could do it is you could apply the top coat and um, Buff um, those needles. I will just to speed up, like uh, remove the inhibition layer. So remove the inhibition layer and very gently scratch it. Like you don't want to remove the gel polish because uh, I have just removed inhibition layer with it. And then we are going to paint the design with the one stroke. Make sure like um, they are nice and uh, matte, so the easiest way to do it is just apply the top coat over it and scratch it. Now I'm picking up the white on the one side of the brush and then pink on the other side of the brush. Mix the color well. And now we are going to paint some flowers here. And I'm using the Demaster brush. And that's a one stroke brush level two. And it's so nice and tiny. That's what I'm doing. Basically, I'm just doing uh, touches with the brush to create like a very basic flower. There's lots of tutorials also on this channel, how to create more advanced flowers. You can check them out. Okay, same in here. So here maybe I will do just half a flower. Okay. 
and you will feel how many petals you can do it with the one pickup of the brush. Like the paint shouldn't feel too dry, but also it, it cannot be too wet as well. Here, like a small leaf. And then two more in there. And if you're really fancy, what else you could do it is once the paint is dry, you can go over it a second time, improving the shape. So if I'm really wanting like a perfect flowers, I'm kind of going over a second time. And I'm giving them a bit more pigmented look and also change the shape of the petals as well. So really what I'm doing is just kind of touching and massaging the paint for a one stroke. And if I feel that my brush got too dry, uh, you would just dip it in, in the water. So I'm just clean it. And we can move on into the next part. Using the D-liner brush and a drop of foil design gel, we are going to add some gold detail. We could use it to transfer the foil. Uh, I'm just going to use the chrome powder. You could do it with the top coat as well. I just find the top coat sometimes can be more runny than the gel. And if I want to do a very fine uh, fine work, I prefer use the foil design gel. It just gives me more control over the painting than the top coat does. Like probably you would be able to do it only maybe one nil with the top coat and you would need to cure it. So I'm just creating those wavy look. Here we want to put a couple dots inside the flower and then outline some leaves. So for outlining, I'm using hardly any product on my brush, like very little product. I don't want it to be heavy. So ideally pick up the product only for a tip of your brush. First of all, it's easier to paint it when you've got only a little product. Then it looks nicer as well when the uh, flower detail is uh, thinner. Okay, we can also add some leaves in here. So I will leave another will leaf here. And then Outline those leaves. So very tiny ones.
begin te lief te zijn. Outline the marble. So for the marble, I'm going a little bit thicker than for the flower. And same on this one. Nice and wavy. Outline the leaves, paint some extra ones. There is no way I could do that much work with the top coat and that's the only reason why I prefer using the foil design gel but of course you will get a really nice results with the high shine over top gel or uh, the top coat which doesn't have an inhibition layer. Okay so once I'm happy with this part I'm going to give it a cure. Uh, I also want to put a couple of gems and they're not over the top, just a few uh, because it's a kind of pretty delicate set so we have used it really nice and beautiful pink ones and I'm just going to stick with that and for the gem applications I like to use the base gels because with the base gel they last me ages so a drop of the base gel Now, in, for the foil design gel to work for transfer foil, you cure it 30 seconds on a slow uh, heat mode. Uh, so very low curing, 30 seconds, and then the transfer foil takes it well. Uh, it, it works for designs, as, as the name of it says, as a foil design gel. So I wouldn't apply it on a full needle to get a full coverage. For full coverage, like I'm transferring those... Um, um, transfer foils with the designs you would use the transfer diff transfer foil uh, gel glue and this one is just for the designs but uh, to make it at work for a chrome so you have to over cure it and to over cure it I'm usually curing about uh, 60 to 90 seconds on a full power and I've got the 72 watt lamp so um, 60 to 90 seconds uh, cure to achieve the uh, good results and uh, I'm just going to stick quickly the gems and then flash cure them then we wrap the pigment in, and that's basically our, our design is going to be uh, finished so all the brush and then pick up a drop of the base gel and we are going to put just a couple gems in here Got them all different sizes here so it was easier if I just throw them out and I want to go big this time just so I've got at least some more bling. ok 
Okay, flash cure it. Another drop and drop and drop and drop. Just making sure I'm picking up the same sizes because they are all mixed. And then flash cure it. So flash cure is a couple seconds. I've got time to clean quickly uh, those gems and then we can wrap the pigment over our design, apply the top coat and uh, that's it finished. So nice and bright summer reset, which goes with the other hand. And uh, it's so funny because I always used to wear the nails which are the same, like both hands exactly the same. And since we start doing the tutorials, guys, uh, for you, I'm trying to <laughs> do two different uh, designs on each hand but kind of which goes together or have something which joins them in uh, so they don't look too awkward yeah, but at least that gives you more videos so they completely different but then they are very similar um, just so at least uh, they don't look too strange <laughs> imagine walking with the one hand red the other green or I don't know any other colors. So I'm just picking up the gold pigment and rubbing it over the foil design gel. And because we have over cured, there is almost no inhibition layer and that's why it sticks on so nice, giving those chrome look. If I wouldn't, uh, if I would cure too short time, uh, it wouldn't be as shiny and actually I did it in this new you can see the difference uh, on the shininess so the longer you cure the more shiny it is going to be Rub this properly in. I just want to take my time doing it so it has those chromey look to it. And I was thinking I will do some different colors for you guys, but I'm sorry, I have to use pink again. <laughs> I don't know why, like I don't wear much of the pink wardrobe. Um, I just feel it like those kind of nude pinks, colors, just, I don't know, I just feel they so neutral uh, that they go with everything what I wear. Uh, so that's the gold parts wrapped in. It looks so pretty, really pretty. And it's not over the top. Uh, I don't like when the nails are over, over the top. So I'm just removing the excess of the pigment and now we can apply the top coat and have two hands. I, I really actually like the thumbnail as well. I think it looks pretty. Anyway, apply those top coat, cook them, and then I can show you the final results. So when I'm applying the top coat, I'm going very close to the crystals, but I'm not applying it over the crystals, just around them. I mean, it might happen occasionally, like I might lose like an odd gem, I don't know, once a year. You guys see me like working with my hands. Um, and usually I wear my nails like four weeks is a minimum, <laughs> sometimes going to uh, six or even eight weeks, uh, which is horrible. I shouldn't be waiting so long for getting my nails done. But honestly, it have been like, it have been crazy. Like we have been up to so many things like and uh, trying to find the time to pamper myself with a new set of the needles. It was impossible. 
but I will try to infill them sooner, even than four weeks, uh, just so you don't have to wait as long for a, a nice design uh, coming up on the channel. I'm going to cook them quickly and uh, show you the final results, because until we don't clean the hand and apply the cuticle oil, it just doesn't look as uh, as nice. It, can, it is kind of uh, a bit messy. You can also let me know down in the comments below as well what else you would like to see it as well. And uh, uh, I may actually answer also one question. Like there was, I can't remember the name. I'm terrible with the names. I'm reading all the comments, guys. You are living under the videos. And uh, one of the comments was where did I learn my craft from? So I do took like lots of different trainings. I started my first training in 2005 and that was in Poland where I have completed like um, two weeks new training and then came here, have tried to improve myself so much. And the best way, the, the stuff which helped it me the most, it was taking the picture of the nails which I have created on the clients and then zoom in those pictures to pick up any imperfections and try to improve those mistakes. Because if you know how to improve the mistakes, you will learn quicker. Uh, then I was taking some educator trainings, like other new art trainings, like all over different places. Uh, um, I have been uh, going to the training with the Pisut. I'm not sure, guys, if you know this uh, this person, but he can paint absolutely beautiful, like with the art. Um, I have took some training for a French with, uh, with uh, David Fowler. Um, he specialized in acrylic nails and, uh, and really beautiful uh, shaping of those nails. I was taking some trainings um, um, like uh, with um, Neil Perfect as well for the educators. So that was every two years like a new training where they always had some guests invited in there as well. Um, so spent quite a lot of like, I think like, we had a full wall of the different certificates um, in the salon, so it was a full corridor, corridor of certificates. I, I, I cannot even remember, but I would say easily 30, 50 even. <laughs> I've got lots of certificates, guys, like from all sorts of different places. But uh, I was uh, also learning from Natalia Larina, and that was uh, a few trainings like uh, in Poland and a beauty factory as well in the Netherlands. So, all sorts of uh, different places. So after I finish the nails, I'm searching if there is any other places I need to touch up because uh, I want to have a nice and beautiful picture. So lots of trainings like, and I think it is never ending uh, story. We, we should be learning all our lives. Like even now I would still, I still learn like how to, how to improve my work as well. But the main thing is if you can, um, if, if you can check uh, what you have done wrong and then try to fix it, uh, that's the easiest uh, way and the quickest way uh, to learn. So yeah, that's the set which we have created uh, today. I'm just applying quickly some cuticle oil and sending you lots of glittery hacks. Oh, and subscribe if you're new in here. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button or a share button, guys. Bye. Bye.